This is Jessie. And she's got a broken knob. Well, I don't know if you call it a knob. I do. I seem to like that word. Yes. Well, her, well the other day, the gear lever broke. Um, but I didn't film any of that. So she had two broken knobs because during the gear lever scenario, the choke cold start knob got broken too. So here's a little video just showing me replacing the cold start or choke knob. Right, so you disconnect the choke cable by slackening this lock nut if you've got it on, which mine wasn't, and then getting a little flathead screwdriver to slacken this off so you can move the cable freely away from this mechanism. And here's my poor broken knob. So you pull that gently all the way until it's just out. And if you twist it, you'll see there's a ball. Here comes an aeroplane. Oh, we see it. <laughs> anyway, that wasn't part of the tutor tutorial. Um, so yeah, gently pull it out. And then what you want to do, you see this little slot here. This slot. There's a vertical and a horizontal little slot going to that ball. So you want to then turn that so the cable goes through that slot, you know what I mean? Get it? So if you were to fit it back, that's how you would do it, you'd rotate it. I made a bit of a hash of that, but that's, then you want your cold start around the right way. But that, that that's how you you get the little fella out anyway. So here's my new choke knob supplied by um, Richard Rovers. Now the cold start writing um, should be white, but it's not. And the T is just about visible, isn't it? So, I'm going to make it white again. There you go. It's a bit better, isn't it? I could mess about with it and make it even brighter. But that's suitable enough for, for Jessie. Yeah? And if you want to make it a bit better, um, maybe get a toothbrush and give it a good scrub out. Give, give the letters a good scrub out first. Is that plain again? Um, give the letters a good scrub out first. Rub some thinners across it. Make sure it's nice and dry. And then I just get a little spatula with this flat white paint. Nice thick, gloopy, flat white. That's what I use. Get it all over my hand, look. <laughs> uh, rub it across with the stick. And then I just get a little cloth with some thinners or white spirit on. And then I just wipe over the top of it. So the black then is clean, clean, but the white tends to stay in the letters. But yeah, that'll do. That'll do for Jessie. So I'm going to lubricate this shaft now. And hopefully get it back in the car. Okay, so just make sure you're nice and gentle when you've put this back in or putting it back in. You've put some nice grease around it and you just gently, gently push it, wiggle it, push it. Because remember, you're pushing um, a wire, basically, through an outer shroud. So 
I'll show you under the bonnet. If you push too hard, you end up bending the little wire. So here we are, I've pushed it nice and gentle and the little wire has come out of the outer shroud. This curly bit is the outer shroud and that's the inner and that's the one we just pushed back through. So now I need to pull the choke out a little bit so I can then guide it through this hole and then we can do that screw up to tighten up the choke cable. And that little trick of putting white paint on the lettering, I mean look how nice that looks. You're sat in here and it clearly says cold start and it's nice and clear like all the other writing. But that trick will work on any of your switches. You don't have to take them out. I mean look at this. What's that say on that? Fresh air? Fresh paint? That's what's needed. So while I've got the paint out, I'll blob some along that, give it a little white with some white spirit, and that'll look just as nice as that. Do the same with the gear stick. You can do the same with your lamp switches. I mean, look at this little arrow. To be fair, I think the switch is knackered, but I could just paint that arrow up. I don't know what happened to the oil level switch. Looks like someone's tried painting it and done a rubbish job. But yeah, any of those. Any of those, you can give them a, a freshen up with some of that paint. Don't know how long it'll last, but it'll certainly look nice. I mean, how much do you rub your blimmin' cold start knob? Not much, I hope. It'd be a bit, be a bit perverted, wouldn't it? Let's see the knob in action. That's locked. Good, good, good. Wait for the fuel pump to prime. Lovely. Check the other knob. <laughs> I always dip the clutch. Cycle. Click room. quite warm, don't really need much choke to be fair. Just raise the idle up for a little bit. Because you know the first part of the choke, like this thick part, when that's on display only, it's only the idle speed that's raised, not the fuel, you know, not the actual choke, it's just the idle speed that's raised when this bit's showing. At least that's what the book said. <laughs> Thanks for watching me and my knobs. All my knobs are fully installed and um, I'm going to give them all a rub now with some paint, you know, freshen them up. <laughs>